Do you think um, the other the two uh, people, the two game styles, League of Legends and StarCraft 2, do you think they'll, they'll ever get along? Uh, they'll get along? Um, you, you know, LoL is a little bit more for a casual player, I think. And StarCraft is kind of more hardcore and kind of more intense, I guess. But uh, I think they can go together because, you know, you have your casual players and you'll have your hardcore players. And, you know, both of them can compete and it's complimentary. So how important are multiple big games for the future growth of esports? Uh, I think it's really good. Um, the more games you have, the more people you can introduce to esports, uh, and the more viewers you get in general. Um, and I think also we're going to start seeing, you know, games are not going to be the king of the esport forever. You know, new games are going to come and they're going to be the new king of the esport. So, uh, you know, continuing having, continuing to have new games shifting in and out of the scene is uh, only a benefit to esports. And what role, or what role do you see the growing number of gaming houses playing as esports evolves? I mean, I think we're just going to start becoming more and more like the society in Korea where, you know, gaming is a little bit more accepted and it's actually kind of like a viable job for people. Um, there's a lot of new houses coming up. There's some in Texas, some in uh, Nevada. Uh, so a lot of these places are, are really going to foster the growth of esports and uh, make it more of a mainstream thing in uh, today's culture. And um, with the popularity of streaming, what role do you see television playing for esports in the future? A lot of people think that uh, esports would not be good for television because um, commercials would be difficult. It's not like football where you have a commercial after every single play or whatever. But uh, I think esports could be done on television. You can see the example in uh, Korea. They had two TV channels uh, devoted to just you know video games. So I think. In the future, you know, we're going to start moving from online streaming to also having TV, hopefully. Um, but online streaming will still play probably a very predominant role in, you know, the coverage of uh, streams and stuff. And you just had a very difficult fight uh, against Toss. What was going through your mind when you were when you were battling? Um, I mean, I was up the first two games, and I was feeling pretty confident. I knew he was a really strong player, though, and uh, I ended up. You know, losing the next two games is a little bit uh, flustering for me. And then I came into the fifth game, tried to focus as much as I could, uh, but ended up not having the greatest flank on his army at the very end, and uh, he managed to take me out. Well, um, what, what do you play for fun besides StarCraft 2 to relax? Um, so I really like a lot of games, but I actually try and limit the amount of games I play because I'm trying to focus on StarCraft. So I actually very rarely play these games, but I actually really, really love them. And if I wasn't focusing on StarCraft, I'd play them. But uh, Dota is a game I really love, and Counter-Strike, I really enjoy that as well. And I'd love to play RPGs, but they're just, they're just like way too time consuming. But uh, these are all games I like. And do you have like a favorite unit in Zerg that you just love? Um, Design-wise, in terms of how awesome it is, I think it's the Hydralisk, but not gameplay-wise because it's a very bad unit in the game. Uh, in the game, it's probably you know like an infester or something. What do you think about the changes they'll make after this tournament? Right now, infestors seem to be dominating the build order in uh, Zerg right now. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about nerfing the infester, and I think maybe infestors do need you know a little bit of change. But I don't think nerfing them should be the option that Blizzard considers. I think Blizzard should instead focus on buffing other units. That way we can continue to make the game more dynamic and balanced by having very unique units rather than having every unit nerfed into oblivion and just stale and bland. If you could change one thing about uh, Wings of Liberty right now, what would it be? Um, there's this thing called the dynamic unit movement. And basically, it's, uh, it basically makes armies spread out by themselves a little bit. And I think it would be a really, really good change uh, in Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm because uh, you could buff AoE spells, you could... Uh, basically, army, armies would look bigger and they would last... Uh, battles would last longer rather than being, you know, a death ball versus a death ball. So I think that would be a really good change uh, that Blizzard could incorporate.